Hello healers! Welcome to your September predictions 2019. This is just what the higher powers, the above, want to guide us and prepare us for the next month. What you're supposed to do or avoid or what to expect. I just want to, you to concentrate. This will be group number one, two and three. So like I always say, go with your gut feeling. Your first choice is most likely the right one. The timestamp and the details will be on the description. And uh, those are beautiful crystals. So if you want to concentrate on the crystal or the pile, just go with your gut feeling. Like always, my details, the card details will be on the description below. And this will be a general uh, reading, all right? So if you want any anything very specific, you can always contact me. I do private readings as well. So I hope you enjoy this. Again, group number one, two, or three. Concentrate, make your choice, and the timestamp will be below. Thanks again for watching. If you are on the group number one and you chose this beautiful amethyst crystal here, I'll leave it out as well. There will be quite a few cards here, okay, guys? So we may not have space on the screen, but I'll show you them all together. We do have the Nine of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. Just try to make space for all of them here. And Knight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. I'll just have to put a few cards here for you. And we have the Emerging card. We have Happiness. We have Gratitude. We have Change. We have Magic Circle of Protection. We have Homeland Foundation. Lovely cards here for you guys. I'll just start. So if you chose the first option, I can see really big, big, lovely, good, positive change here for you, right? Um, I'll just start with the tarot cards. Um, the other cards are here too. Really, this uh, Nine of Cups is showing you really, really content with everything that's going to happen, really happy with your life, with your situation. And if you're not happy yet, definitely be sure that something really good is coming to you. You'll be like happy with everything that's going on around you, really full cups uh, with everything, work, relationships, family, Anything that you're working towards at the moment, you're going to see this really, really happening. And also the page of swords is showing you that some some changes, maybe it's time to cut what no longer serve you and, you know, see what is around this. Some quick changes that may need to be done. Knight of Cups is really, if you don't have someone in your life, someone is coming or someone really it is a big offer here it could be work this is this is also known as the proposal card if you are expecting to get you know engaged or hoping for that um, commitment from someone there will be some real real uh, forward moving here for you and also it could be work related like i said but the ace of pentacles is here showing you that like you can see this beautiful card is really showing your path your path here is open, right? You Your doors are open for anything. And this is really a beautiful uh, wish and uh, lucky card. Also, like it could be money related, work, family. They, they wish your wish is coming true here. You can really expect some good, positive changes. And I just want to go through some of the other cards, the Oracle cards. The emerging is really about you... Uh, taking care of yourself and uh, showing your true self, cutting away anything that no longer serves you, anything that you're not happy with 
or it could be someone, it could be situations as well that you may need to put some boundaries, emerge yourself. So emerging from um, anything that you you really you know wanted to get rid of and and coming forward the best of you, your best fr um, the best part of you being able to come forward because you're cleaning up, like getting rid of anything that no longer serves you, right? And you do have the happiness card here, which is the message here is immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate fluttering moments of joy. So throughout the month, you will have a few different things going on, few uh, loads of happiness moments for you to, you can see here throughout these cards as well, it's really showing you be sure to be thankful and happy because, you know, and enjoy those moments. Make sure you, you know, take uh, take these moments and remember, put in your mind, there are many good things coming to you. And the other card here, really, really connecting together, gratitude, really. So be grateful for abundance. Leave, uh, live in appreciation for what you have and more good things will come really beautiful card here like i said there's so many good things coming to you but it's about being grateful for what you already have you know and more things more open doors is coming to you this is really really a good month for you group number one and it's a change card here as well like i like i see here this is really showing a big change something really big is coming an offer a commitment if it's work or relationships like i say and the ace of pentacles is it's everything, money-wise, abundance. There's a big, big change. And I feel like you are changing as well. Like you are changing yourself, uh, taking care of yourself more. Like I say, cutting someone, some things, some situations that no longer serve you and is no good for you. It's like you're realizing this, this month. And it's really a moment of change and prosperity. And because, because I feel like you're changing, there's all this these good things coming to you. You're not changing because of these things that are coming to you. It's because of your change. You're opening the doors for all these blessings and all the good things coming to you. And uh, this card here, the Homeland Foundation, is really showing, uh, be true to yourself, go back to your roots, you know, what you really like to do, to who are the people who you really want to be around. Be true to yourself, go back to what you really want to do what you are and who you are in a way that uh, the, the, like i said cutting things that no longer serve you and remembering where you come from being humbling from where you come from what you have learned so far i feel like this is a really good month of changes and realizations and uh, remember this car last card here is to remind you to protect yourself you know and uh Make sure you are grounded, you surround yourself with good people, you remember to be grateful and to uh, have those times to protect yourself, to look around what is going on that you need to, to fix and to really protect yourself. I feel like from some people as well and um, to really... Remember to be grateful and ask for the higher powers for protection. They are available to us if we ask for help. The higher powers, the angels, however you want to call them, right? The, the creation, everything is available for us if we allow. Open doors is what I feel here for you uh, this, this uh, month of September. Like beautiful, beautiful changes. And I feel like it's you changing and you opening this door that is allowing all these blessings to come to you. So group number one, you should expect some beautiful, beautiful things. Like I say, offers, good things coming to you and feeling content, feeling really happy with yourself, with everything that you achieved. And and like I said, like if you're not if you're not feeling this way, it should be a really big change for you and uh, some accomplishments and some really big open doors for you to go and do whatever you want. And like I say, make sure you are true to yourself and you do what you want and you can be really, really happy. This is like some open doors coming to you in this in this September. So I'm really happy for you, group number one, if you chose this one. So I hope it resonated with you. Let me know, leave some comment and um, all the best in this next month. 
again, thanks very much for watching. Group number two, if you chose this beautiful crystal here, the second, I'll leave it here to help us too. And there are quite few cards, all right? So I'll, I'll open a few of them and I'll, I'll show you all of them. I'll talk, I'll talk about them separately. We do have the Nine of Wands. We have some Tarot and Oracle cards. The Two of Wands. The Page of Wands. Loads of Wands here for you. And the Fool. I will also show all the cards here and we have the meditation, we have uh, gentleness, flexibility, hope you can see them, inspired warrior, spirit initiation, and the watchtower of the north, the winter. All right, so just starting here with the tarot cards. Group number two, what I can tell you is that it looks like maybe you have been feeling like you have gone through some battles and some things going on with your life that you got to a point where you have so much, that there was so much going on and it's like you kind of wanted to give up. But this card is here to remind you that September is the month to just recharge and definitely not give up. So whatever was going on with you that uh, you had in some hard you had some hard times, it could have been family, relationships, you know, uh, work, money wise. Just remember, don't give up. It's really a time to just recharge now in September, and you'll be able to carry on. And this is really showing here. Definitely don't give up because the truth wants is here to show that you're gonna have so many options. There, there are few options to come coming to you. Like I said, it could be both sides, uh, all the sides, like uh, family relationships and and money wise. But it's really showing here some chances of traveling as well and uh, choices of uh, related to your passions and things that you really want to do. And this page of ones is here to tell you that go for your passions. It's really the time to to do what you want and take that leap of faith. The fool is here to show you the leap. It's, it's a month of faith and take that chance and don't give up. It's really, it could have been that you had some hard times in August or, you know, the beginning of the, the year so far. It's time to, to, to gather your thoughts. It's time to uh, maybe take a little break just to relax and organize what you want, but don't give up because you're so close here to get what you want and you have so many choices that you actually have to be careful about uh, not not making a decision, you know? So the, the full card is here to tell you, go make a decision is a time to take that leap of faith and the page of wands is here to tell you, go for what you really want. When you see, when you get this, those options here, when you have the choices, it's really time to uh, go for what you want. Be true to yourself. And what uh, the cards here are saying, the first one, meditation, right? So it, like I said, if you are in doubt of what you want, what will be these options that are coming to you in September, if you're not sure what to do, take some time for, some time for yourself, meditate, ask the higher powers for help, for guidance, to, to make sure you're on your right path and you are fulfilling your, you know, your true, your true desires and your true path that you have in your life. And you're not deviating from that and not making the wrong choices because there, there will be quite a few different choices going on here for you. But meditate, ask for the higher powers for help in case you're in doubt. And gentleness, it, the card is here for you. And the message is, is strength is gentle. True kindness has wings. Love in action endures. So it just reminds you to be gentle. And I feel like gentle to yourself. You may have been a bit uh, hard on yourself here with this uh, nine of wands showing that you have gone through some battles and you could have been a little bit hard on yourself. And I feel like it be, be gentle to yourself and others around you will 
will have that as an effect as well as a snowball effect and we you'll be able to make sure you the love in you know is there in all the actions that you take and flexibility is here is reminding you gently flow through the turbulence life has the ability to shape you bend don't break lovely message here for you i feel like like i said that it's like you're coming from some battles and some issues at the moment but this card is here to remind you that um you know this this turbulent time has just been uh to shape you and to give you some inspiration some you know learning it's really a growth process but then it gives you a, a clear vision of what you really want it's really about choosing what you want because you see you you got three wands here and the ones are all about the passion about the fire what really is what you want to do so be uh, remember that you 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 could have been bent but you're not broken so you see this this turbulent times these issues you could have had are just about to be clear now in september it's because it's just was just a bend was just um stepping in stone that you had for your growth and um i see here this is a very powerful card the inspired warrior it's coming here to show you that you can become this inspired warrior now do you see how red those cards are really how beautiful the colors here showing the passion the the ability to be true to yourself to do what you want i feel like september is coming really showing you you can do what you want and this card is here to show you the the watch the watchtower of the north and the winter card this winter card here is showing you it's really about uh, uh, be taking some time to analyze what no longer serves you take the the bad things that maybe um, the situations have caused you to become a harder person on yourself or others anything that any attitudes any things that you know they are not good for you but you still have them it's time to freeze them this winter is here to freeze some bad attitudes some bad issues that you could have had so far and get rid of them it's really about cl uh, clearing yourself and having some some real direction of what you want and the spirit initiation card it's about it's telling you don't worry about what other people think it's really about what you want that's why i think all these ones all the passion is here for you to choose again what you want what is really that something that you want to do september is going to be really clear for you because the option will be there and it's time for you to take that leap of faith it's really about not giving up choosing what you want to do because the options are really going to be clear for you there are going to be quite few options so many that you will you you need to to meditate a bit and stop a bit to make sure you take the right one but take that leap of faith don't give up and it's really about clearing some things that no longer serve you attitudes maybe people situations and really think what you want i feel like some of you most of you already know what you want you're just not going for or because you had some hard times in the past you did you were not able to you didn't have a chance to go for what you want but this is really about the options coming here for you there are so many and uh, make sure you choose your passion what you really want be true to yourself when you make the decisions and take that leap of faith it's really about for some of you maybe starting from zero the the full here is zero card and it's about to like go for it to start from zero if you have to but it's really about doing what you want so september is really bringing you some lovely options some real chances to do what you want so the chances will be there for you it's just a matter of you deciding you choosing to do it and the, and you're going to be inspired warrior with the the inspired warrior card here i feel like it's really about you being able to not just do what you want but about you being able to inspire others and and even help others that's how i feel this is really 
taking you to a direction of of doing really what you want and being able to help others be here as well and remember do what you want this initiation here it's about not worrying about other people what they think because the options are going to be uh, really clear for you and there are many options and it's all about your passion what you want to do so group number two i hope this resonates with you and this like i say it's a general reading if you want more details you can always contact me but i hope and if it did resonate with you let let me know uh, send me a message a private message or leave a comment and thanks very much for your time and for watching so far okay thank you you have a great day if you chose this beautiful crystal here i'll leave it here to help us out there's quite a few cards i'll open all of them for you and then we talk about them all right so we do have the five of swords we have the three of pentacles king of pen uh, uh, king of pentacles and the ten of cups we also have meditation action and anticipation don't compromise moons and circles spell and manifestation wow group number three beautiful beautiful cards i'll start with i say with the tarot cards first i hope you can see all of them i feel like this with this five of swords here it's like something you have been working so far in a way that it was not serving you uh, very well those were those were some um this really represents some win uh winning battles but at what cost what your attitude or the situation that you are at the moment uh, you know brought you to what did you lose with what you have done so far whatever that has ha whatever had happened to you has happened to you and you you have work towards but it was not in a good way i feel like the the first card it did for all of the other ones as well was to represent how you start in the month and this is, was was really the attitude of the beginning of the month coming with some hard attitude and uh, something that uh, not really serving you very well winning but uh, losing at the same time some battles but what i can tell you is that this is really a period that is changing because this month is bringing you a payback from hard work so however you have been working so far it was not really serving you very well but the changes here you're gonna see some payback and hard work, but pay attention to the details. You can see in this picture there's a lot of details and people maybe helping out or maybe criticizing. So it's really about having a payback for what you do, but it's hard work. So it's not like uh, that easy, but it's gonna be a payback for your hard work so far. So much so that the King of Pentacles is here, which is all about security, money wise as well as is coming really the security is here for you if this is something that you have been struggling with um it's it's showing very clear that with the king of pentacles there is security coming to you in september it's really about a, a time of of feeling good with the financially family and the ten of cups here it's really like a wishing card that people always want to get on the tarot readings because the Ten of Cups is really about having everything with your family wise and everything that you desire. Even if you don't have a family, it's really about a wish coming true. What you want is it's a resolution. The tens, the tens are really about a, 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 a cycle closing. So this is really about something that you really want coming towards you in september really really clear and it's exactly what you want if it's a family if it's a love or if it's a new 
job, what you want is coming here towards you. It's going to be through some hard work, but it will pay back. It will pay back and you're going to be secure. I, f I, feel, I feel like it's money-wise and family as well. So because of the hard work here with the pentacles, but then it's spreading through the family as well. So it's really about having your work paid back and the first card, the other card here of the oracles showing manifestation. It's really a time in September that you're going to be able to manifest what you want. I feel like family, money-wise, money will, will not be an issue for you uh, so far. And I feel like if this is how you start the month, I feel like this is the start. But this here is how you finish. It's really a progress going on. And you're going to be able to manifest what you want. You also have the action uh, card here which is, is stop hesitating movement creates the magic nothing can hold you back really powerful card here showing you you can manifest what you want is manifestation is here and ma and and then the the action is here you can manifest so just make sure you you are working towards what you want this this hard this hard work here could be directly work but it could be that you've been working hard on a relationship as well or or trying to get into a relationship if you feel not with someone and the work will be paid back so it will be it will be worth your while and the action is here so that you need to do something as well it's not about just waiting you you know uh, stop hesitating so it's really about uh, uh, creating that movement it's time to to manifest to make sure you you know what you want because it's coming to you so make sure you clear very clear on what you want so the universe the higher powers can hear as well your wishes and they're coming through here with this card as well and this there is another card here anticipation something wonderful is happening change is in the air open yourself to blessings on their way really really showing one more time here that Changing is changes are coming. September is really bringing something powerful and beautiful for you here. You just needed to wait, and and you just needed to be prepared for it. And it's about that anticipation. And when we want something, when when we ask the higher powers, the universe for something, we should wait. We should have that anticipation, that thing, that feeling in our heart that something is coming. So hold on to that in September. Make sure. But you do have to act as well and and money in manifestation card is here but it's really about if it, it's not if it, like i said it's not happening straight away there's some work to be done but also the the action is there but feeling that anticipation in your heart having that feeling that it is happening it's it's already uh, half halfway through you know in your mind something is happening you bring in, you bring into the reality. So make sure you have in your mind all the time that anticipation, that feeling that something is changing. And the card here, don't compromise, is very clear. Make sure you're very direct with what you want. Like I say, asking the higher powers and working as well. Make sure you're doing and you asking for what you want and it's really coming to you here. It's really clear and direct all the good cards here coming to you and showing don't compromise make sure it's what you want not someone else not someone else's idea and uh, don't think too much about what other people will, will think just go for what you want the moon and cycle card here is showing that it's really the time it, it's a time of change for you because we go through these cycles like the moon and uh, it's 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 a time that you are changing as well like i said from this this card here from this feeling to this here is a big difference is a big change and is is a progress as well so i feel like this is how you start in the month and this is how you're finishing so hold on to that the cycle is ending here of this hard work this work that uh, did not serve you and was not uh, done in a nice way i feel like that or a it could be, like I said, relationship or jobs or anything that you know what's going on at the moment. But it's really about, it's, it wasn't serving you. It wasn't done in a right way, serving you or others. But it's really about this cycle ending and you're entering a beautiful cycle now in September. 
really, really about uh, the hard work being paid and your wishes coming true. And the last card here is again, spell manifestation and another manifestation, which like I said, I prayed on this card. I did not choose them. The higher powers chose them for you. This is this is spell manifestation card is about writing down as well your dreams, your wishes, what you really want to do. And um, the like I said, the higher powers will know you're gonna bring this to yourself. You are manifesting this card here for yourself. That's my feeling. Through some hard work for sure, but you are manifesting this. You, you are this king of pentacles here, secure, sitting on your power, choosing and doing what you want, making your reality. That's how I feel that you are going to be able to manifest so much. Group number three, those is, these are really beautiful cards. So you can expect some real, real good changes in September and really manifesting anything you want. It's all about putting your mind into it, maybe writing down, putting your paper into it as well with this card, doing some hard work, but it's really about manifesting what you want. This this is a beautiful month for you, group number three. I'm really happy for you because this is really, really so many nice changes here coming towards you. All right, so I hope this resonated with you. Let me know, leave a comment. Like I said, this is a general reading. If you want more details, something directly uh, for you, you can always contact me. But I hope it resonated. And if it did, leave me a comment, send me a message. I'll be really happy to hear from you. So thank you very much if you, you're here with me so far. And uh, I, I'm really, really happy. This is a beautiful month for you, group number three. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.